Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're out at the RV. We're gonna do a, an upgrade we've been wanting to do for a while. It's an upgrade on the water system, as you've probably seen by the stuff behind us. Uh, on a lot of these RVs, when you see them hooked up, they have this, this inline water filter, which we have been using for a while. It's doing okay. We don't much drink the water from the RV parks anyway, but this here has been doing pretty decent for us. But today we're gonna upgrade to the canister style, like this one here by Beach Lane. This is the Beach Lane RV dual water filter. This is what we chose to go with. There are other ones, I'm sure you've seen them. They're kind of blue. You, I know you know which ones we're talking about, but they also got that huge price tag on them too. So we're giving this one a shot. What we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how, guys how to mount this thing or where you could mount it. Every rig is gonna be different because your layout's different, but we'll show you where we decided to mount ours and we'll show you how to hook it up. Uh, what's cool about this one, it has a really thick wall of canisters and it has the brass fittings that takes your typical three quarter inch perfect for uh, most rvs um we're also going to be testing the waters we're going to test the water now where it comes out and we're going to test it after to see how well this filter does if it does any better or what we're getting out of this i mean this thing's scientific but it should give you some read um, a little more about this filter like i said it is the beach lane dual rv water filter with the brass fittings and everything it has the two stage filters it has a 5 micron and a 0.5 micron filter. The 5 micron is the polypropylene filter. And then you have the carbon black filter on the 0.5 filter. Let's see if I can show you guys one of those. This is the polypropylene filter. This is the, the 5 micron one. It just fits down in here and you screw it up on there. And there's, there's the O-rings in here. But when you install that, you're going to want to make sure you have some of this food grade silicone there on your seals helps it seal better and also go together a little better so you're gonna want that that's that one and then also I'll show you guys the other filter here it is this is the carbon this is the carbon black or a block filter right here this is the stuff that gets rid of all the you know gets rid of a lot of the bacteria and and uh, smells and chlorine things like that this will help get rid of some of that make this smell a little better and things like that so that's going to be nice that'll be quite an improvement over what we currently have uh, this also is um, these things here have a lifetime manufacturer's warranty on these which is good considering the price tag which is a fraction of what you see on some of the other ones this one here is only like 69 bucks at the time of this video pretty good deal and it's a US based company so you want to support them US businesses and they're out of North Carolina so that's pretty good to know. Um, the kit comes with, you'll get your housing wrench for your canisters. It also comes with a couple of extra O-rings, which is good to have just in case you get one ripped or something or it's leaking. And of course your directions. Uh, for our setup, we found a perfect spot on the frame. We're gonna show you where that's at over on the other side of our rig before we put it on there. And we're just gonna mount it on there with a couple stainless steel nut or bolts. These are self-tapping ones. We just tap into the side of the frame so we can just lift our bracket off and put it back on uh, when we go from site to site. Um, where we put it also though, it is able to be left there if you wanted to while you're going down the road. So it's a perfect spot, but we'll probably take it off anyway. We also, on our setup, we needed a little extra hose to go from the other side of the filter up into our wet bay. That's what this is for. Like I mentioned, you definitely want this food grade silicone for your seals. It's, it's good more than just the water stuff you can put on any other seal. Works great. And then we're going to test that water. So any of the stuff you see, we'll leave links for it down below. But with all that being said, let's go over here. I'll go show you where we're going to mount this filter. And then uh, we'll get it mounted and hooked up and test all this water. So we'll see if we're doing any better. Okay, the first thing you guys are going to want to do when you get your filter ready to set up, you're going to want to take your canisters off. And when you get your filters, they're going to be in plastic. Take them out of the plastic and then stick them back in there. On both of the canisters you'll want to take them both out of the plastic and then inside here that's where your rubber o-ring is that's what you're going to want to put your silicone on so we're going to do that right now we're going to just put a little on our finger and rub it around all of this thing it's just coming out of there like crazy so we're just going to put a little hair on our finger and then we're just going to rub it between the, our fingers here just to get a nice bit on there and we can stick that back into position. Oh, this ain't the wrong one. This one. There we go. We'll stick it back in there. 
That'll help hold it in there too. Gonna put our filter back in there. And we can get that one screwed up into the uh, up into the filter here. Actually, this one you see with the five micron is going to want to be on your inlet side. That's the first one you're going to want it to go through. Um, if, on your rig, if if your water flows a certain direction, you can unscrew these bolts on, or these screws on top and just flip it around. Your inlet outlet will switch sides. You'll be perfect for that. So we're just going to continue putting these on on the other one, and then we'll show you what we're going to do to set that up. All right, now we got them seals both sealed, and we got them on there in the right order. We're going to take the wrench that came with it and just tighten the canisters a little bit. That way we don't want we don't want any leaks or anything. You'll feel it almost stop moving. That's that's the position you'll want. There we go. We're set and ready to mount this. So let's go down here. I'll show you where we're going to mount ours at. Ours, we have a spot right here on the frame. You can see we already have the two screws in there. You see those? Those are the spot where we're going to hang ours. Uh, since the bracket has the nice cutouts in there, it'll hang on there perfectly. And then uh, with the angle of the bracket too, it comes out around that bottom part of the frame. Perfect fit. So I'm going to mount that on there and show you guys what it looks like. Okay. All right, we're here under this slide where we're going to hang ours on the frame. Like I said, we have the two there. You see the holes in the bracket. They're just going to sit on here. And that's where ours is going to sit perfectly like that while we're here at the campground. We're going to put our inlet hose on this side and our outlet hose from here up into our RV in through the wet bay. So that's why we got that other hose for. So let's get that real quick. We'll hook this one up first. Make sure your seals are in your hose. We're going to hook it in here. You always, when you're first hooking up any new filter, you want to run water through it before you hook it up to your rig because there's, uh, especially with them carbon black, carbon block filters, you'll get that black carbon dust out of there for a while. So let's get that on there. Okay, so that one's hooked up. Now we're just gonna get our, actually we're gonna unhook our feed from the rig and then we're gonna test the water coming out of the hose, coming out of that, the inline filter, which is only 20 microns. So we'll test the water coming out of that, see what we get for, you know, the total dissolved solids and all that. Then once we run this one for a few minutes with water, we'll test this one, see if this one comes out any better, if it has a better read or not, be good to know. So let's get the hoses hooked up to each end of this and then we'll see what the test results are. All right guys, we got the hose disconnected from the wet bay that we have. This is going through the, on, the inline filter that is 20 microns. We let it run for a few minutes. We'll put some here in a glass. We'll give it a rinse. Here we go, we got some, we're gonna test this and we'll test it after with the other one. So. Let's get this tested. All right, guys, we got our cup of water here we took out of that hose here. We got this on. We're going to put it in here, stir it a little bit, see what the parts per million are on this. Shouldn't be too bad. The water here is pretty clean at this campground, but we're going to do it. Just seeing if it's what it's given us. Looks like we're getting 167 parts per million, which, to be honest, that's not bad at all so that's with this one at the 20 microns we're gonna see if the one with the 0.5 makes much more of a difference if it filters out more of those particles so it'd be cool to find out let's get this other system hooked up and then we'll run it for a second get it cleaned out and we'll get a test of water from that all right guys we have the inlet hose coming in we have the outlet hose coming out which is right here at this end we're going to let it flow for a couple minutes down here you can see it Let's see if we get any of that black stuff out. Go ahead, turn it on. It's filling up the canisters now. Of course, you want to check for any leaks. I don't see any yet. So also let this run for a couple minutes to clear that out. So we're going to do that, let it run for a couple minutes. Once that's cleared out and running through there for a couple, we'll get a glass full of it and check the parts or check the water quality on this one. All right, guys, we let this flow for two minutes to make sure we got any of the residue out of the filters. We're going to fill up our glass. We already rinsed it here. We'll rinse it one more time. Now we're going to fill it up and test this water here. So we got to fill. You want to shut this off on the seat? 
All right, now we're gonna test the water after it comes through our two-stage beach lane filter. We got our tester here, we'll turn it on. We're gonna see what our reading is. We got about 162. That's about five parts per million less than before. Which isn't bad, but you gotta remember these filters aren't really made to uh, reduce the to uh, the, to the TDS, the total dissolved solids. These filters aren't really made for that. that. That's done with like reverse osmosis and things like that. This is made to make your water quality better. It'll filter out some of the pathogens. It'll get rid of some of the chlorine. Uh, the, yeah, the, get rid of some of the chlorine and the bad smells. Let's see. It already smells less like chlorine than before because I remember the strong chlorine smell. It tastes a little better. I do still taste hose, but I think it's because we put that new hose on there and it's still fresh, but I do taste that a little. Once the hose gets cleaned out a little better, it'll probably taste better, but not bad considering I'm no water expert either. Like I said, it's a little bit better with the TDS from this, this meter, but I'm sure this ain't you know the best there is. But the water quality, as far as the smell and the taste, is better than it was before. So can't complain about that. So let's get this uh, wet bait tidied back up, and then uh, we'll close this video out. All right, there you have it, guys. Pretty easy install of that water filter and a much-needed upgrade, I believe. This one here, we're done with it. We took it off. So now we don't have to mess with these anymore. Um, there's the two filters inside. They come in a package deal. I'll leave a link to those down below, too, so you have replacement filters if you want them. Um, if you need those uh, again don't forget to get your food safe silicone grease you're gonna want that I got the meter you guys don't really need the meter you know it's gonna filter better than those other. like I said these are only 20 microns that other one goes down to 0.5 microns so it's definitely filtering out more of the, the crap you don't want in your water uh, stainless steel stainless steel self tapping screws perfect for uh, for that frame we didn't have to drill any holes it did it for us mounted that right in there so quick and easy install we needed a small little hose i'll leave a link to that for you guys we only needed like a five six foot section to go from the other side of that filter up and then uh we were in business we have no leaks beautiful install i'm loving it uh we've been wanting to do it for a while so if you guys are interested in any of this stuff we will leave links down below to all this stuff uh, it is amazon affiliate links and we appreciate that support it does help the channel out directly uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. We get to all of them. Uh, if you have any questions on the install or the equipment or anything, we will get to those. No problem at all. We're not that big yet, but with your help, we can be. So don't forget to click subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and hit the bell notification so you know when we hit, hit another video up, which we come out once a week at this point. So you'll bound to see something you like because our channel is a little bit of everything and learning something new. So that's what we like to do over here at Jimmy Two Tech. So with that being said, guys, thanks for watching, and until next time, try something new.